Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. I am back, I have been missing for a little while. I haven't made any videos for over a month now. It's actually almost been two months, so I'm really, really excited to be back. Uh, I did have some sort of crazy things happen in my life. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, I did make a community post, so go check that out. Uh, I can explain why I was on a hiatus for a little bit, but I'm back. I'm making more content, and I'm really, really excited. I have some, some cool stuff for you today. I have a really exciting development with this plant right here, which is probably why you clicked and you want to learn about. There's something hiding in there that I think is going to be really interesting for you. Uh, but real quick, before I get into that, there is something that I did kind of want to announce, and I'm actually starting a new partnership with California Carnivores. Uh, if you watch YouTube, um, and you watch a lot of carnivorous plant YouTube videos, you probably have stumbled upon one of Damon, Daniela, or Kate's videos talking about carnivorous plants. They're super, super knowledgeable. They've been around for a long time. They have a ton of experience and are really one of the best carnivorous plant nurseries out there. They're also one of the most knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries out there. So I'm really, really excited to announce this partnership. They've actually been around for a ton of years. The owner and founder of California Carnivores, his name is actually Peter Diamato. He's the author of the book Savage Garden. And if you've been recently searching or looking into carnivorous plants at all, you would probably know that that's sort of the, the Bible for carnivorous plants. A lot of people, especially before the internet, that's what they went to to get their carnivorous plant knowledge. So he has a ton of experience and a ton of knowledge. One of my biggest goals with this channel is to share my knowledge and help grow, sorry, no pun intended, uh, this unusual and fun hobby. I know California carnivores actually share this vision and it's one of the reasons I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I'm, it's, it's somebody I really feel comfortable sending you over to and purchasing your plants because I know that they're gonna take really, really good care of you. And another thing that's really, really cool, they've been kind enough to offer all of my subscribers a 10% discount for their purchases uh, of plants over at California Carnivores. So make sure to click the link in the description, head on over to California Carnivores, put CP Hub into, that's like Carnivorous Plants CP Hub at checkout, they will actually award you that 10% that off. And, and I know they're gonna take really good care of you. They've got a huge selection of plants. They're one of the best nurseries out there. Uh, so definitely go check them out. Now, okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started on why you're really here. Let's go ahead and talk about this Venus flytrap pulling one over on me here. I This is one of the great mysteries that I've had in my Carnivorous Plant jer uh, journey. I don't know what happened here and I don't know how to explain this. So. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of setup here. So this plant actually is grown outside. It has been outside for a couple of months now. And I noticed something the other day when I pulled up to it uh, to water it. I, I've been away from my home for kind of a long time, so I haven't got to enjoy my plants like I usually do. It's been almost a month now that we've been out of our home for um, some crazy septic reasons, but uh, I've just been kind of watering these and going and they've been kind of taking care of themselves outside. But I thought this one was growing a weed. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm gonna show you what the weed was. I went to pull the weed, and lo and behold, look at this pesky little weed here. What do we have here? Yep, that's my weed. It's a cephalotus. A little cephalotus is growing inside of my Venus flytrap. Now, this Venus flytrap is about three months old. I got it from Lowe's. It's one that I actually did a video on it. I didn't repot it in the video, uh, but I did do a video on it and kind of showed everybody this plant. It's only been around for three months. It, this is all fresh soil, um, and I don't know how this happened. I grow my cephalotuses indoors. Uh, actually, on a windowsill, I'm really lucky. My cephalotus have adapted really well to windowsills, and they do really, really well. I don't know necessarily that that's the best way for everybody to grow them, but that's how I grow them. So my cephalotus are inside, and my Venus flytrap is outside. They're not flowering right now. I have absolutely no idea how a little cephalotus popped up in this Venus flytrap pot here. It's seriously just a huge mystery to me. Now, the thing that's cool is you got one here, and then if you look under there, there's another one coming up right there. And then there's another little baby cephalotus right here. You can see it's a little, little fuzzy but you can see it um, so yeah so I don't know what's going on um, I, I had to bust out the camera real quick and I had to share my exciting news about my partnership with California carnivores and I had to show you this really really cool development I, I love cephalotus and I think they're just such a cool plant and I have no idea how this happened but I am definitely going to take it 
So I'll probably let these get a little bit bigger, uh, let them mature, and then I'll probably repot them into their own planters so that um, I can give them sort of the, the more cephalotus care. But as you can see, obviously, with the Venus flytrap growing and the cephalotus growing together, they've, uh, they've done pretty dang well. So yeah, really, really exciting. I, again, I don't know how to explain it. I can't tell you for sure what happened. My cephalotus aren't even flowering right now. Uh, so I don't really know how any seeds could have spread or this was, like I said, this was fresh soil. I don't know if somehow wherever this Venus flytrap came from, if there was some remnants of a cephalotus attached to it somehow and it kind of sprung up from the roots. But hey, you know, I will definitely take the extra cephalotus plants. I, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody talk about a, a magical cephalotus plant popping up in their their planter so if you're subscribed to my channel you probably know that my dream and goal is to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday i honestly can't even put into words how much it means to me that you're here now watching my video and supporting my dream youtube just released a new way for people to support small content creators like myself it's called super thanks and you'll see it available at the bottom of all my videos this allows a viewer to say thank you with a monetary contribution to support my channel. You can send two, five, ten, or even fifty dollars to the content creator, and you get to leave a custom comment that will be displayed as a featured comment down in the comment section showing that you contributed. If you don't have any money to throw my way, please, no sweat. Uh, you being here, liking my videos, subscribing to my channel, and just consuming my content is huge in supporting me and my dream. So thank you for being here, thank you for being amazing. I think that's pretty much it for this one, everyone. Uh, I, I really hope that um, I see you guys soon. I'm going to be doing some more videos here real quick. I'll be doing a zero water pitcher review, uh, which is a really, really cool way for you to get some water for your carnivorous plants. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing some, I haven't done any updates for a while, so I'm going to be updating you on some of my recent plant purchases so you guys can kind of see how they're all doing. And I look forward to uh, seeing you guys. So hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.